Receiving the leadership of the Nigerian Institute of Quantity Surveyor, the FCT minister lamented that government contracts are always overinflated by those who want to negotiate for bribe with contractors. In its words, the bill of quantity for government contracts are always prepared by professional quantity surveyors, and this brings to question the issue of contract padding. It therefore charged them to do everything professionally possible to reduce the cost of government contract, which according to him is very high in Nigeria. It's very important for you to understand that the perception out there is that projects in Nigeria are very expensive. Projects in Nigeria, that's the perception, I don't know if it's correct, that you know are overpriced, overcosted. And at the end of the day, these prices and this cost do not just come from the air. They are written by people and who are professionals. So really, for us to turn around this country and for us to really meet our true potentials as a nation and for us to be able to give the, live the, light, the right legacy for those coming behind us, honestly, everybody has to be just open to it. The minister also stated that he have directed all relevant departments and agencies under him to eliminate delays and difficulties people go through to get building plan approvals in Abuja. In all the meetings I held with them, I showed them the concerns of the general public in respect of the, the delays and the difficulties that people go through before they get their approvals for, for buildings. Uh, through the Development Control Department. And uh, generally, as you know, as a government, we want to ease how business is being done. Earlier in a speech, the leader of the team, Mrs. Messi Tokwase, has pledged their support to assist government succeed in improving the lives of Nigerians. Ikaro Atta, ITV News, Abuja.